Howdy, howdy, y'all. Okay, we have enough resin to do another smashy, smashy. And I am in the mood to experiment. So I have some more leftover glitter that I'm going to use as my base. And this is a whole bunch of black glitter uh, in different sizes. In fact, I might just flip this whole thing over and see. I don't know if it'll pour. So this is gonna be interesting to see what the colors actually do with the glitter and if they move around on it or just stay in a big pile. So it's definitely an experiment. Um, <laughs> I don't know what's gonna happen. So we will see. In fact, you know what? I might even go as far as doing one more step. And that is, I've got some black resin here that I might add a little bit of a fluid element to it. Not much. You know, not a lot. I think I need more on this other one. Get on there. All right, time to get messy. Heat this up a little bit so I can move it around. Like I said, I'm not sure what the colors are going to do with this when I make my puddle and then smush it together. They could very well stay in a puddle because the glitter doesn't let it move. Or it could do, just do something completely surprising that we don't expect. So, hey Mikey. Hey Rear. I have one more week left of my boys being home for the holidays and I'm loving it. All right, that covered up well. Feels like I'm moving sand around with a gritty texture. So if you're ever wondering what to do with your leftover grit, glitter from the project, this is something you can do. Add a little resin and add a little sparkle to your piece. See, I think I got it pretty well covered. Yep. All right, let me clean up my finger before I get started with my colors. That wasn't so bad. Usually I get my entire hand nasty. Just the finger this time. I've got, what can I play with here? All right, let's use this chameleon color. So this is a combination of like a rose, kind of like a rose color and a gold, which I think will be nice and pretty against these, this glitter. So we'll make a nice little puddle on both of these. Now I normally will have some kind of stone coat base tint on here, but I don't this time. So, what it will do, I don't know. It's a mystery. So we got a couple mysteries in here. All right, I have uh, another mixture of silvers and pigment powders in here, and I'm gonna put a little blob of that in here. A little 
little bit of kind of this aqua color. white on top oops let's see there's a lot of blue in this glitter so I want to kind of bring that out a little bit so I'm gonna add this transparent blue I've got a little bit left of all right I think we're good. Uh, here we go. <laughs> it's sticking to the board this time. Okay, here we go. And you put downward pressure on this until it starts coming out the sides. So you know you got some really good contact. Now the resin I'm using, Stone Coat Art Coat, my go-to resin. But we'll say I'm, I'm getting close to the end of the working time, so it's a little thicker. But the, part, uh, the fun part with the resin and doing this technique is it creates quite a bit of suction, so you have to <laughs> pry it apart. All right. So I'm going to wedge my fingernail in here. And go for it. All righty. That could be interesting actually looks a little on the celestial side. Ooh, that's kind of cool. All right, let me hit that with the um, heat gun real quick. And here are some bubbles. this over and then I will bring you in for a close-up so bear with me for a second that way I can take my gloves off after I move it I'm trying really really hard not to get my phone into the resin Drips look pretty. Okay, here we go. So these are the two pieces here. A lot of bling bling. We might just have to see what it looks like the next day. Sometimes things will continue to develop. Definitely when I've got stone coat base tin on there. But with it not being that, I'm not sure how it's going to develop. So oh, we'll have to see tomorrow. I kind of really like that chameleon color. That's a black diamond on that. And I'll put a picture at the end of this so that you get to see all the colors. Now, some of the colors are mixed together, um, so sorry about that, but like I said, I'm at my working time at the end of a project, so I'm trying to use up all my resin. All right, guys, until tomorrow. Later. Okay, I think I'm going to call this a glitter galaxy ball. I don't know. Sounds pretty interesting to me. Anyway, the glitter turned out over the top. However, again, good start, but it still needs something. 
So definitely going to do a second layer on this guy as well. So to me, this looks really, really interesting, but it just doesn't bring in the wow factor too much. Or I should say, I have a lot of wow, but just nothing to really kind of tie in. Hold it together is a good design. So we're going to keep working on this. So there will be definitely another video coming up on this one. So anyway, hit that like button, hit the subscribe button, but definitely hit the bell to get notified next time I put a video up. And also check at the end of this video because there is a whole mess of colors that went into this guy. It's, it's kind of surprising, especially like in the glitters. Oof, there was a lot of glitters in this one. Um, so I will see you later on. Bye.